Hello everybody, this is Trading Gamer back to kick off groups round three for group C matches. And in these matchups we will see Team South America going up against Star Pumpkin, Torvasaurus taking on Mr. Backpack, and Pilk going up against the Skrill. Right, let's get on with this. Alrighty then, in this first matchup we see Team South America taking on the Star Pumpkin. At first for Team South America we have Alpha Irritator in the Alpha Arena. Um, not much to say really, but it could be a problem for Star Pumpkin. In the blue corner for Star Pumpkin, we have a Spinosaurus. And I feel like this Spinosaurus could be important here because... Two of the first two dinosaurs for Team South America are water dinosaurs. And Star Pumpkin's second dino is a fire dinosaur. So if Team South America gets an early lead, Star Pumpkin might be in a bit of trouble. Um, a win here for, for Team South America will close that gap on the top four. A bonus point win for, team, for, the, for Star Pumpkin will put them level on points with the top two. Well, for now. Ooh, a hit from the Spinosaurus there. Not too much damage dealt though. Ooh, does he irritate the response with a crit? But again, not that much damage dealt. Oh, the irritate again off another hit. Slowly ch taking down Spino's health. Ooh, but a big hit from the Spino here. A tail smash coming. But the other almost killed it. Uber, a big recovery coming from the Alpha Irritator. As Cryo comes in for recovery and the Smiling Burger gets triggered. Oh my god, it might actually restore all its health. Doosh. Wow. Almost all of Irritator's HP is restored. And Team South America have quite the lead so far. But the, so the Spinosaurus basically has to start again. But this Kamikaze tackle will help. And look at all that health gone again. Quick as a wink. Irritator's health is back down below half. But the Irritator does get off another crit. And it takes out the Spinosaurus. And it gives Team South America a 1-0 lead. Now here's where the problems could mount for Star Pumpkin. As a second dino is an Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. It will be the type disadvantage against that Irritator, but Irritator is on quite low health, so I don't think the type advantage will be that relevant. Do -do -boom. Okay, we'll start with the Skizzers. Ooh, a tragic sphere though from the Irritator. This will do damage. Yeah, look at that. Loads of damage dealt. Oh, that's a tie. That will suit the Alpha Irritator down to the ground. That will definitely suit Irritator. Another hit on the Alpha Acro. And things are definitely not looking good for Star Pumpkin. Huge momentum swing that recovery. You have to say that. That... Double recovery and Smiling Burger, huge momentum swing. And Star Pumpkin is down to their third dino, the Mega Raptor. Mega Raptor is gonna have to work cut out here because it's not only gotta defeat this Alpha Irritator, it has to defeat the Saltosaurus and the Carnotaurus. But Team South America, well on top. And firmly in control of this match. Ooh, that's a tie. And well, finally, the Irritator is going down. But a very big effort from Alpha Irritator has left Star Pumpkin in a perilous situation. Because, coming in next for Team South America, we have the Saltosaurus. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. 
watch out for that Hydro Cutter, because if Hydro Cutter gets activated, that Mega Raptor will probably die instantly. Do, 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 do. And I, I want to see it. I want to see Hydro Cutter come resolve. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, Star Pumpkin, but I want to see it. <laughs> I want to see it one shot Mega Raptor. Okay, the Hydro Cutter will get triggered as the Mega Raptor gets the hit. Ooh, is this the moment we've been waiting for? Ah! Oh, ah, well, go away, OBS. Well, not yet, because Saltosaurus. Not getting the hit. Go for it, you dumb dinosaur. <laughs> you could have gone for it then. Ooh, the Saltosaurus does get off a hit, but it's not the hit I want. I want Hydro Cutter. Ooh, we got an Aqua Javelin there, adding extra damage for, for the Saltosaurus, but again, I want to see Hydro Cutter. Ooh, Mega Raptor though, I think, has taken out the Saltosaurus with a stomping hammer. So Star Pumpkin is pulling this match back, but is still in a bit of trouble. Okay, up next for Team South America, we have a Carnotaurus. And if Carnotaurus gets off Ninja Attack, it will be game over for Star Pumpkin. And it'll be a crucial win for Team South America. Ding, ding. But it has definitely been a very good comeback from Star Pumpkin. Seems very good at it. Ooh. Ooh, a hurricane beat from the Mega Raptor. Has Star Pumpkin finally gained some momentum in this match? And look at that. I think that's below half, which means Star Pumpkin has guaranteed themselves points in this match. Um, I don't know. I'm going to have to have a look at that. I... I think it's below half. It might just be on the dot. I mean, I will have a quick look at it. This ninja attack is going to kill Mega Raptor, so... Okay, let's have a look. Hang on, give me a sec to get my ruler out. Okay, I am going to give it the Star Pumpkin. I think I will give it the Star Pumpkin, the losing bonus point. I mean, I did the measurements. It was 9.7... What was it? 9.5 centimetres. And the and the but and the HP was just by a fraction of a millimeter over four point seven five. So I'm at, so I am gonna give the bo losing bonus point to Star Pumpkin. But wow, that was tight. But let's not take away what a big win that was for Team South America. So we'll update the table and we'll move on to our next match. Alrighty then, in this matchup we see Torvosaurus taking on Mr. Backpack. Could be a big game this with Tor with Mr. Backpack yet to win. Anyway, up first for Torvosaurus we have an Isosaurus. Well we've definitely seen what this guy can do. Definitely packs a punch, but again, Ocean Panic and um, Aqua Javelin will probably not activate. If if they activate, like I, I I am just gonna I, I am just gonna declare Torvosaurus the winner of this match. Anyway, in the blue corner for Mr. Backpack we have a Displinosaurus. It's gonna be tough for this Displinosaurus, it'll be at a tight disadvantage against our Isosaurus. And also Mr. Backpack's second dino will be at a tight disadvantage against Torvosaurus' second dino, so I feel like Torvosaurus is in a very strong position to win this match. And a win for Torvosaurus here will all, will all but guarantee their place in the last 32. Oh yeah, definitely a tie will suit Mr. Backpack more. That will suit them even more though. A stun dash coming from Daspletosaurus. Okay, maybe I shouldn't say it like that. Daspletosaurus. Shlippy uh, shlippy shlap shlap. Although not too much damage done, and the useless technique boost activating there. Oop, that's a tie. A good start from the 
A good start from Mr. Backpack here, and he needed a good start in this match. But, again, with the type advantage Torbosaurus will have over the over his first two dinos, one move could change the whole match. And that move could be this, a Water Sword coming from Isosaurus, which is going to do a serious amount of damage to the Spletosaurus. And, well, look at that. In two moves, the Dust Spletosaurus goes down. Right, sorry about that, I had a phone call to deal with. Anyway, as for Mr. Backpack's next dino, we have a Nodosaurus. Um, this guy was definitely pretty decent last time, so... Might... Well, it's gonna have his work cut out for him. And, well, he's gotta get past Isosaurus first before he can even think about taking on the Shant. And, well, from the looks of this, that ain't gonna happen. And, well, after a sluggish start, Torvosaurus is well on top. Ooh, but the elemental power coming from Nodosaurus. Could that be the turning point? <laughs> Alright, as for Torvosaurus' second dino, we have a Super Shantungosaurus. This beast will be an advantage over that Nodosaurus, and that will be crucial. Well, it could be crucial. Okay, where are you? Awaken mode on two. Ooh, big hit from the shant. Wow, yeah, definitely. Elemental power seems to do really good for Nodosaurus. Ooh, a hit coming from Nodosaurus and elemental power activating again. But not too much damage done because of that type disadvantage. And it's awakening time for Shant. Oh, but he doesn't get it! The Nodosaurus getting off a crucial hit. And that will half the Shant's health as well. Mr. Backpack more than holding their own. But, like before, one move hit from the Shant can change all that. And here comes that hit. Wow, elemental power is really good. But elemental power has pretty much negated the type advantage that the Shant has. I mean, the Shant will probably kill Nodosaurus, but definitely held his own Nodosaurus. Well, <laughs> a bit late, but you know, better late than never, I suppose. Oh, well, a well played by the Nodosaurus. The Shant goes down and a chance missed for Tulvasaurus. Anyway, as for their third dino, we have a Kakiradontosaurus. Well, this beast can still win it for Tulvasaurus, but the type advantage is gone. So we're on a level playing field. Ooh, a hit from the Nodosaurus and a critical one. I mean, it didn't do any damage, but, you know, decent. Okay, the Magma Blaster comes in from Kakiridontosaurus and finishes off Nodosaurus, but wow. Honestly, I might use Elemental Power going forward because it looks really good. Wait, what does that mean? Oh, Earth Barrier. I mean, it didn't matter. Anyway... As for Backpack's third dino, we have a Super Palace. Awaken mode on two, so we might see Awaken mode. Ba -da -ba -da! Well, Mr. Backpack survived those two type disadvantages and has got to this point, so... A good chance here for Mr. Backpack, but can he finish it up? Can he take it?
Well, not like that. The Kakirodontosaurus striking first. Oh, yes. Once. Ooh, but the Paris getting the hit back. And it's awakening time. This could be it. Oh, as a tie, that will absolutely suit Mr. Backpack down to the ground as a green impulse activates. And this might be curtains for Kakirodontosaurus. Oh, come on, that's ridiculous. Okay, that was ridiculous. I thought that was curtains, but Torvasaurus still has a chance to snatch this match. Which he doesn't. A tie is enough to finish off the Kakirodontosaurus and give Mr. Backpack a well-deserved victory. But Torvosaurus won't be empty, won't be leaving empty-handed. Because Paris' health was below half, he will get a losing bonus point, which could still be crucial. I was very impressed and very impressive by Mr. Backpack. Anyway, time to update the table and we'll move on to our last match of this video. Alrighty then, in this matchup we see Pilk going up against the Skrill. And in the red corner for Pilk we have a Baryonyx. Um, not much to say here, just one of many Baryonyxes in this tournament and more attack minded than anything. In the blue corner for the Skrill we have a Mapusaurus. And despite Mapusaurus being at a tight disadvantage here, I would not underestimate the power of this beast. Sigoi! That being said, I I think Pilk I think Pilk will still edge this match, but we'll just have to see. Oop, that starts off with a tie. Hmm. I suppose I'll suit the Mapusaurus more, because then he gets a chance of heat eruption. Ooh, a big hit coming from Mapusaurus. And a technique boost to boot. Ooh, the Baryonyx counters with an Aqua Whip, which means big damage is coming Mapusaurus' way. And a shockwave as well to tighten Pilk's grip on this match. Okay, that means Pilk will be going for another crit, but will he get it? The answer is no. Ooh, but the Mapusaurus fights back with his own crit. But again, not too much damage done because of that tight disadvantage. Ooh, a bit weird then. Ooh, another crit from the Mapusaurus. I, t I told you, do not underestimate the power of this beast. And well, three crits in a row from Mapusaurus have all but killed the Baryonyx and has given the Skrill a 1 0 lead. Okay, as for Pilk's second dino, we have a Megalosaurus. Um, not much to say here since it has all secret moves. I mean, it's kind of... I mean, I, I, I get it, but it's, it's a bit boring. I mean, spice it up a bit. Ooh, the secret moves have been triggered. Ooh, a psychic bind is going to finish off the Mapusaurus. Yum, yum, yum. Alright, as for the Skrill second dino, we have a Pyantnitskisaurus, and just like the Mapusaurus, do not underestimate the power of this beast. I feel like this guy's the joker of the pack. Packing a big punch in that crit, but also having the technical abilities of recovery and jet shuriken. I feel like this Pyantnitskisaurus is not to be trifled with. Ooh, but the Megalosaurus starts off with a hit. Not too much damage dealt though. But the gigantic fall has been triggered. 
And if the Megalosaurus gets it off, it will be curtains for Piantnitskysaurus. And indeed he does get it off. Uh, I think that was the battle type, so... I'm not 100% sure on what warning type does, but... I... I I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, as you can see, Megalosaurus wasting no time in taking out Piantnitskysaurus. Okay, as for the Skrill's third and final dino, we have an Eoraptor, becoming a Lambiosaurus. Um, I don't really hold... I don't really hold that much hope here for the Skrill now. I feel like Pilk should be able to close this matchup. Okay, so we have a Bigfoot Assault, and that is Green Impulse. So Green Impulse could come in very handy here, with, with the Eoraptor's insanely brokenly high technique. Which means, in theory, Green Impulse should activate 9 times out of 10 it's a tie. In theory. Like that. <laughs> a Green Impulse from the Lambiosaurus. Okay, I'm going to say Lambiosaurus. I'm going to use Eorap, the British Lambiosaurus. Oh, it gained all its health back. But a one gigantic fall could end this fight. But, oh, actually, no, it won't, because Eoraptor has di Dino Stuffer, so even if the Megalosaurus did get it off, the Dino Stuffer would stop it. Ooh, another hit from Eoraptor coming back strong against Megalosaurus. Oh, that's a tie. No green impulse, but. But it wasn't needed because the Megalosaurus goes down. And as for Pilk's third dino, we have another secret dino, the Crowlophosaurus. And again, not much to say here since it has all secret moves, which I find boring. I, mean, I don't really care when you play it, but I just find it boring when you play all secret moves. Ooh, that's a tie. But no green impulse, but the blunder type there nullifying the scissors move. Not that it has one. Oh, here comes another green impulse. Eoraptor's high technique paying off so far. Phew! Boosh! And the Eoraptor will gain all the health back it lost in that time. Wow, another hit from Eoraptor! But, because of how frail Eoraptor is, all it takes really is one hit from the Cryo, and it could be game over for the Skrill. But, a hit from Pilk is not what's going to happen, and instead, the Skrill is going to make a fine comeback to defeat Pilk and claim all three points. And that was definitely a good display of what Eoraptor can do. Well, that was impressive, wasn't it? Right, uh, time to update the table, and we'll end the session. Well, well, well. Look, look at how Group C has opened up all of a sudden. You still have Torvosaurus up top with that losing bonus point, taking them to eight points. But we have Pilk on seven points, since both of these two lost. Then we have the Skrill in third with six points after that win over Pilk. And then we have Star Pumpkin in fourth on four points. And then we have Mr. Backpack with the same record and on four points also. But Star Pumpkin is above Mr. Backpack because they Star Pumpkin won their matchup. And then we have Team South America bringing up the rear and the bottom with three points. But wow, look how tight it is. Very tight in Group C. And I feel like those two, those two results, particularly against these two, have definitely opened up Group C more. I mean, if these two had won, then, well, it'd be... It'd be on to the last 32 for these two, for certain, but, you know, now it's not that guaranteed. But, honestly, one more win from either of these two should do it. And the interesting thing is that these two will play each other in the next round. We'll see Pilk going up against Torvosaurus. And the winner will almost cert well, certainly guarantee their place in the last 32. And then, who else is playing? 
Ooh, a massive game at the bottom between Mr. Backpack and Team South America. And then we will have a game between the Skrill and Star Pumpkin. So, it's plenty to play for here. I feel like round four will be a pivotal round for Group C. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this session. And this is Stranger Gamer, signing out.